Greetings, traders. Hope that you're coming up to a profitable end of the year. I wanted to do a little bit of look down memory lane of Bitcoin, and I'm going to expand that horizon out even further back. I'm not just going to talk about 2020 in review. I'm going to go back much further because I've been reading a lot of tweets of people that are very, very, very bullish on Bitcoin. And of course, I am too. I love Bitcoin. I love cryptocurrency. I've loved it for years. But there's a lot of arrogance and hubris, I think, that's becoming very prevalent in the scene. And I think that it would behoove people to go back and look at history to sort of abate the FOMO they are very, very likely feeling at the moment. And one of the things that I think is kind of fun is to go back and see me when I was myself a new and aspiring trader. And I've been posting on TradingView for a, quite a while. It, it's funny to go back to, let's say, 2015 when I could talk about Bitcoin in the triple digits. Believe it or not, it used to be that price. And if you look here, it was coming off of another really crazy run. All the, I remember this run up to 1100. And at that point, you had a very, very long, over a year of drawdown off that high. And then there was potentially an opportunity to pick it up at about 205, 265. Man, those prices back then. One of the best things you can do to show yourself the history of Bitcoin is, is use Bitstamp because their data has been around for the longest. And let's just go back and take a look at how these panned out. Well, a lot of people you'll see, they still talk about the 2017. Now, nowadays with Bitcoin at 29,000, it almost looks like people that bought it at 19,000 were smart. But there was a couple of years there where it went all the way down to, what is that? What kind of retracement is that? Oof, 84% retracement. Jeez. Well, that's not the only time in history that's happened. Let's go back a little bit further. So here's another thing. Wow, that looks, that looks really, really similar. Have a big pronounced parabolic movement with a, another 80% drawdown. Let's go back a little bit further in time. What about here? Let's see. Let's measure this from the top up here. Wow. Those people that bought the top at 257, oof, 70% down move. If we go even further back, we can see this. Ooh, look at this parabolic move here. This is a nice little pullback of, oh, well, that's only about 40%. I actually remember this. I actually remember this right here. This back in yesteryear of 2012 was very interesting because this was before anyone was looking at Bitcoin and for it to get up to $15 was ridiculous. And if you think about it, think how many of these do you see in your looking at stocks nowadays? How many of these parabolics do you see? I get DMs all the time from folks asking me to look at some chart and it looks just like this. And I tell them the same thing. It looks like it's going up. The key thing to think about here when you see things making moves like this is that you'll get a chance to play it in a much smarter way. I know it seems like you're going to miss this opportunity to retire on Bitcoin. But in every case that I've seen in the years that I've been watching this and talking about it, there will be a massive retracement. And of course, at that point, nobody's looking at it. And you don't know when that's going to be. Bitcoin could go up to 100,000. Why not? But there's a really good chance it'll come right back into the 20s just based on what it's done in the past. So we don't know the future, but we can learn from history.
And so I urge everyone to not get caught up in the FOMO and that if you feel like you've missed it or you're going to miss it, you will get another chance. I promise. Just be patient. Have a good 2021, everyone. See you in the next video.